Hello there. Our top questions this week are all about antibodies. And lots of you have got questions about these as they become really important in our lives as most of us get vaccinated. And we're going to have to start thinking about when that immunity starts to wear off. So we all know, need to know a lot about antibodies. And the top questions this week come from Sarah, Helen, Brian and many more of you. And the first one is, how do I get confirmation that the I've developed the antibodies following my double vaccine? And, uh, and I'm not one of those rare people that uh, for whom the vaccine hasn't worked. And the other questions we've got are really about the types of different antibodies there are, uh, because this is getting confusing. Uh, we're talking about N antibodies and there's two types of S antibody, S1 and S2, both in relation to the natural infection and also to vaccination. And people asking, well, what level uh, is a good one? You know, what do you really need that's going to be good for infection? So I'll start by explaining what antibodies are. And basically they are biological molecules produced by special white cells in our blood that uh, control immunity. And these specific blood cells are called B cells. And antibodies produced by them actually stick to substances on the surface or on the inside of microbes. And these little bits that stick out of the microbes are called antigens that they get recognized. And these antibodies stick to them on, on these microbes, which can be bacteria or viruses, and effectively neutralize them, slow them down, make them less harmful, and allow the rest of the uh, defense system to take over. And your immune system is stopped with tens of millions of these B cells, these white blood cells, uh, each producing a different specific antibody to each threat. And it's, it's a highly intricate system that's evolved over millions of years. Uh, and we're able to really separate tiny differences. Uh, and you think about all the foods that we eat and everything else uh, that we don't react to. And we can spot something that, that uh, carries just a tiny amount of, of one of our enemies and produce uh, a defense against it. It's really quite remarkable. And when you catch a, a virus like um, SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19, the B cells in your body will ramp up and produce these specific antiviral antibodies. Uh, and these will increasingly get produced and then travel around your body. And they take several days to get going. Uh, it's not immediate and they often peak at about seven or, or 10 days. Um, and when the infection's over, the remaining antibodies start to sort of scale down. They get broken down by the body over. So a monster don't need them anymore. Uh, and this usually tails off in a matter of uh, six to eight weeks. It, it sort of depends on the infection. Um, and some can last much longer. And a few uh, of these cells do hang around. They're called memory B cells. And these are basically your, your memory of past infections so that next time you get infected, you don't have to wait days for the response. These guys are ready and will kick off an immune response straight away. And that's why your body uh, is sort of immunized and can fight off an infection before it gets hold. And that's because of these, uh, these different types of antibody ones that produce slowly and then afterwards with these memory cells, ones that produce really fast and rapidly. And that's, that's why people rarely get uh, second infections uh, soon after. Um, so next question is, what is a COVID antibody test and, and how does it work? There are two main types of antibody test. First is the anti-N test. And these are antibodies that recognize the 
molecule inside the actual virus called the nucleocapsid. That's the end bit. And these are only produced if actually caught the virus itself, COVID-19, the natural one. Uh, and this is a sign that you've got natural immunity. And the other is the anti-S test, which is uh, a test showing that you've got antibodies to the spike protein. And this is on the surface of the virus, but it's also on the uh, vaccine as well. So essentially, if you've got the anti-S one, uh, this could occur due to either having the vaccination and you've got it's shown that you had a good immune response to that, or you had the uh, natural infection. Now, to do an antibody test, uh, most commonly, uh, and the ones we ask you to do as part of the app, is you prick your finger with a, a tiny uh, lancet or needle, you produce a little drop, and that gets put into a tube, and that gets sent off to the lab for analysis, and you get your result back in three to seven days. And depending on when we're doing it, this can either be an, an anti-N test or an anti-S test, or sometimes both. Um, the anti-N tests are available from the NHS if you've been invited or a part of a trial. And we're currently researching uh, with the app to see how long these antibodies last uh, after uh, logging in an infection. We really don't know. We've got some data, but it's rather limited and it's quite likely it varies a lot between individuals. Um, if you uh, come back with a positive test, uh, it means it's likely uh, you've had COVID, but uh, it doesn't, however, mean that you're now immune. Uh, as it's, we still don't know uh, exactly whether uh, there's an absolute level of, of antibodies, anti-N antibodies, that do protect you against the virus. It's a good sign, but it's certainly not uh, an absolute one clinically because there are other factors involved, not just the antibodies. And um, it's possible also that, you've been, that your, your anti-N test is negative, but you are still infected, and therefore it's not a, a way of saying, oh, I didn't have it because my antibodies were negative. It just means you didn't produce, you weren't one of those people that naturally produced these uh, anti-N antibodies. And they also fade over time. So it could be that if it, you were one of those people that had the infection in the early part of 2020 and we tested you a year later, you might have been infected, but those antibodies are no longer around, although they might be in someone else. Um, and now anti-N tests... Uh, can only reveal if it's likely you've had COVID-19. I can't tell you if the vaccine is working since they only show the natural immune responses by your body and don't really tell you anything about the vaccine. Now let's talk about anti-S tests. These are not yet available on the NHS, but they are available privately. And there's rather limited knowledge on the effectiveness of these tests. Uh, we just haven't had enough time to really look at it in large numbers of people. But we believe they should be taken at least four weeks after uh, vaccination, that's your second dose, to ensure that the body's had a chance to develop the antibodies. And uh, from what we're seeing, they cost between £60 and £100 uh, to do. Uh, and please note that the, the researchers for the vaccines, uh, when they were developing them, did find a strong immune response in the vast majority of people. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been uh, allowed to proceed. So you'd be very unlucky if it hadn't worked. And certainly, um, I had mine tested, as did other members uh, of the research team. And uh, I think nearly all of us uh, had four or five fold responses, which was uh, reassuring. But there is evidence that for those of you with a weakened immune system or some other, on some other types of medication or uh, perhaps at extremes of age, might react differently to these vaccines. And you may want to speak to your GP uh, if this is a particular concern. But in general, anti-S 
antibodies are a good sign and they're much more protective, we think, than the rather general anti-N ones. And that's why the spike itself is used uh, as a part of virtually all the vaccines on the market. So whatever your result, you can still catch the virus again, unfortunately. Uh, and you can also still spread it to others. Your chances might be less, but these are still possibilities. So especially if you haven't been vaccinated yet, do remember to be responsible now that restrictions uh, have been lifted. And thank you for continuing to log daily. Uh, your contributions are really crucial for our efforts. And please remember to like and subscribe us. Hit the notification bell if you want to get more of these videos as they come out. And stay safe and keep logging.